This video will teach you how to complete the overdose field report. Anytime you witness or respond to an overdose, complete the overdose field report as soon as possible. The overdose field report can be accessed electronically, mohoproject.org forward slash OD report. You can also save the link to your smartphone, computer, or tablet for quick access. The report is quick, usually takes less than three minutes to complete, and the data you provide will allow ongoing surveillance of opioid-related overdoses and naloxone administrations. Please pause this slide and pull out your smartphone. I will teach you how to save the overdose field report on your smartphone. For Apple Phone, tap the Share button on the browser's toolbar, rectangle with an arrow pointing up. Tap the Add to Home Screen icon in the Share menu. For Android Phone, tap the Menu button and tap Add to Home Screen. You can create a shortcut. Now click on the Field Report icon on your smartphone. I am going to walk you through an example scenario, including how to answer each question for this scenario and if others arise. Date and time of overdose event. Put today's date and current time. What is your relationship to the person who overdosed? The person responding to and completing the field report is a first responder, but as you can see, there are a number of different options depending on the relationship with the person who experienced an overdose. Agency name. This question will not be presented for all people. For example, a person reporting their spouse overdose who select a spouse for the above question will, be pre will not be presented with the agency question. For the example scenario, we would select test agency. If you select test agency, there is a follow-up safety question to ensure that you are not reporting an actual overdose event. This will ensure any practice entries are not misinterpreted as an actual overdose. Some agencies will be listed if they have been trained through MOHO or more, but others will not. If your agency is not listed, there's an option to select other and then specify which agency you are from. In what county did the overdose occur? Use the drop-down box to select the appropriate county. For this scenario, this will be St. Louis County. Zip code of overdose location. If you are unsure of the zip code, please leave it blank. For this particular scenario, please write 63119. Incident location at home. Choose a home or a residence. Is the individual a Missouri resident? Yes. If you are not sure, please select unsure. If the individual is homeless, please select homeless. Individual age for this scenario, the person was 22, so you select between 18 and 24. For all questions that has unsure as one of the answers, always please select your best guess and unsure. Individual sex is a male. Individual race, he's white, you're not sure, so unsure. Individual Hispanic, he's not Hispanic, you're not sure, so he's no and unsure. Types of drugs involved, the friend mentioned heroin being involved. The person who overdosed is not sure, so select heroin and unsure. Was naloxone administered? Yes. Naloxone administered by... Please select multiple responses if more than one person administered naloxone. For the purposes of our error scenario, naloxone was administered by police, but in cases where naloxone by administered by EMS and police, please select EMS and police. What form of naloxone was administered? Please select all that apply. For our scenario, Adapta Pharma Narcan nasal spray was administered. However, in cases where, for example, adaptive pharma Narcan nasal spray and other intranasal devices were administered, please select both. How many doses of adaptive pharma nasal spray were given? In the case of our scenario, was one. However, 
in cases where more than one form of naloxone were administered, we will have questions that follow to ask about the doses for each form. Any post naloxone withdrawal symptoms, check all that apply. The person felt dope sick. To the best of your knowledge, did the individual survive the overdose? Yes, he did. Was the individual transported to the hospital? No, he declined transport. After completing the field report, please click submit. All collected data is stored on secured servers housed with the Missouri Institute of Mental Health, MIMH, at the University of Missouri. No individually identifiable information is collected about individuals who experience or respond to an overdose. Data will only be compiled and shared in aggregate. If you have any concerns about completing the overdose field report, please contact MIMH immediately.